And now, let's welcome the mayor. <laughs> Uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, good evening. And welcome to the 217th Small Town Christmas Tree Lighting Ceremony. Uh, uh, now let's do what we've all been waiting for. Light the tree. <laughs> Isn't it spectacular? I, I want to thank all of you who helped to decorate it. But now... Miss Morgan Stern, our beloved music teacher from Harbor Hill Elementary School, will lead the choir in Deck the Halls. Time to head home and put up our Christmas stockings. And don't forget Santa's cookies and milk. Mm. Lauren, come along now. It's time to call it a night. Tomorrow's a big day. I'm not happy about tomorrow. You're not. Tomorrow's Christmas. Why are you unhappy? I'm afraid I won't get what I want. Well, what do you want? All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. My two front teeth. Just my two front teeth. Gee, if I could only have my two front teeth, then I could wish you Merry Christmas. It's way past your bedtime. You better get yourself on home. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, officer. Good night. Bye. Good night. Night, night, darling. Sleep well, son. We'll wake you bright and early. And we'll open presents? If Santa brings them.
Touch me if you can. Feel and then down the streets of town, right to the traffic cop. And he only paused the moment when he heard him holler, stop. Frosty the snowman had to hurry on his way. But he waved goodbye, saying, don't you cry, I'll be back. She looks different. All aboard. We're going on a Christmas Eve adventure and we're singing all the way. Here we go. Tell me what brings you all here. Well, it was my idea. You see, I think we need to have a talk. Oh, <laughs> we do, do we? Yes. Well, you see, I'm kind of worried about something. Let me guess. You're worried that you weren't as good as you could have been this year, and I'm going to leave you off my Christmas list. Wow. How'd you know? Santa knows everything. <laughs> now, why don't you tell me about all the naughty things you've done?
now, now, son. You've done some naughty things this past year, but children your age often do. Can you tell me about something very nice you've done for someone this year? Well, I found a lost puppy and I was hurt, and I brought it home and looked after it and put signs up all over and got it back to its owner. Does that count? Oh, yes, son, it certainly does. <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much if I were you. Oh, thank you, Santa. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> now, Jennifer, what brings you to the pole? Well, what I want for Christmas is really big and expensive, and I don't think I'm going to get it. I want it so badly my heart aches. And I've been really, really good all year. Oh, you poor dear. What is it you want? A pony. A, a pony? <laughs> I love ponies, too. Come over here and meet our pony, Snowball. Oh, Santa, she's the pony I've always dreamed of. Snowball to me. Oh, there are many, many children around the world who dream of having a pony, but I only have one snowball to give, so please don't get your hopes up too much. And these children are part of my music program at the elementary school. <laughs> Small town sounds like a delightful place to live. How lucky you children are. Now, who else wants to request a special present? May I please have a truck? A doll with blonde hair and blue eyes? A basketball? <laughs> you children certainly know what you want. But first, let me share with you something I found out a long time ago. Sometimes someone will give you a gift you never would have picked for yourself, and it can make you very happy. Santa always gives me the most unusual gifts, and I love them.
wonderful for me and for so many people around the world. Thank you, dear. Children, gather round, and I'll tell you a secret. I see. I have more fun than anyone in the whole wide world at Christmas. You do? <laughs> mm hmm. But you don't get any presents. Oh, yes, I do. The best present is knowing that I've created happiness for someone. Giving is better than receiving. Really? Yes, now it's time for me to board my sleigh for my round-the-world trap. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. What do you recall? The most famous reindeer of all. Christmas Eve. It sure does. I do worry about you driving that sleigh through the night around the world in this kind of weather. Now, now, dear. I've been doing it for centuries. And you do have Rudolph to lead the way. And millions of children are waiting for me. Well, <laughs> I guess you better get on your way, dear. I'll have a nice big breakfast and a mm -hmm. pot of hot cocoa waiting for you at sunup. <laughs> 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 I love Christmas. <laughs> Please, Miss Morganstern, can't we stay a little longer? Can I'm afraid go, not. We really must be going. We have to get back to town. Oh, oh no. Oh. Do we really have to go? Yes, you do. You need to get some sleep, and I need to be on my way. I have a lot of presents to deliver. Oh, no. <laughs> so I really must say goodbye. Goodbye! <laughs>
wake up, honey. It's Christmas morning. Did Santa bring me a present? Well, I just found this under the Christmas tree, and the card says it's from Santa. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now bring us a piggy pudding. Now bring us a piggy pudding. Now bring us a piggy pudding and a cup of good cheer. We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. So bring it right here. So bring us a piggy pudding. So bring us a piggy pudding. So bring us a piggy pudding and bring it right here. The tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a merry Christmas and a happy new year. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas and a happy new year. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas and a happy new year. We wish you a merry Christmas and a happy new year and a happy new year and a happy new year. Merry Merry Christmas, everybody! Eve to all of you. So, Aaron, I understand your kids booked a surprise musical act on your show today. You bet. 
We've booked Dwight Kennedy's New Orleans Dixie King. Oh, Dixieland Jazz, my favorite kind of music. Speaking of favorites, our plan for today is to play our most favorite music videos of all time. And we made so many that the hard part is picking. Well, can we help you pick? Sure thing. Undoubtedly, my favorite is, does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? Well, then, we'll play it for you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> We're going to have to hustle today if we're going to be picking the videos as we go. And I'm going to have my hands full finding the tapes to play. Billy and Ruby, Ruby Biggle at your service. <laughs> I'll find your tapes for you. And I'll let everyone know what's happening. You guys are the best. How can we do this show without you? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's roll the opening title sequence one more time. Rolling. Roll in three, two, one, and take it. Thank you, the host. Good morning and welcome to the Kids Songs TV Show, the one and only show made by kids, for kids, and starring kids. Hi, I'm Alexander Paul. And I'm Erin Harvey. And, and we're the Biggles. We have a really special show for you today, because today is Favorites Day. That means we're going to play our all-time favorite music videos for you. Our boss, Mr. Forbes, has already picked his. It's the Chimpanzee Classic, does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? Oh me, oh my, oh you, whatever shall I do? Hallelujah, the question is peculiar. I give a lot of dough, if only I could know. The answer to my question, is it yes or is it no? Does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? If your mother says don't chew it, do you swallow? kids who watch the show, why don't we see which songs they like the best? What a great idea! Well, Sean Gowers of Pacific Palisades, California says he likes Peppermint Twist the best. Great! I'll write an introduction to it right now. And I'll take it to the host! What a team! What are we doing next? I have no idea. Peppermint Twist, and I have it right here. I've got to put it in the machine. Bye! Okay, Shira, ask the host to intro Peppermint Twist. Ruby's ahead of me. She's giving them the script already. How cool. Cue them. This next song was requested by one of our California fans. He said in his letter that he loves this song. And he loves the 50s diner where we shot our video. He even loves the lighting. So, Sean, this one's for you. The, the Peppermint, Peppermint Twist. Well, they got a new dance and it goes like this.
video I was ever in was Silvery Moon. I loved the costumes and the choreography was so good. I have to agree with you. It all came together on that one. Then let's play it. I'm going to write an introduction to it real fast. I found it. I was looking under S for a silvery moon till Jessica told me it's under B for by the light of the silvery moon. <laughs> Thank you, Billy. We're really glad you found it. Okay, I'll go put it in the machine for you. Boy, this is harder work than I thought. <laughs> and just then, cue them. Our next song is an old-fashioned song that all of us Curtain Day kids fell in love with as soon as we heard it. It's a lot of fun to sing along with and a lot of fun to dance to, according to my coworkers. So let's play this request from the control room, By the Light of the Silvery Moon. By the light of the silvery moon, I want a spoon. them while we made all the Christmas songs videos. My favorite was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I like Santa Claus's coming to town even better because the sleigh ride was so cool. You're right, let's make it our pick of the day. Let's go to Nashville Cats next. We had three letters requesting it today. And it's a personal favorite of mine. I think Alex did a great job singing that song. Video's cute and ready to roll. Sure, we're in the host. We're coming to them right now. This next video was a lot of fun to make. Some of us Kids Songs kids put together a band to play this song. And you were picked to sing lead vocals. Which was very flattering and a lot of fun. Come on and sing along with me on... Nashville Cats! Nashville Cats, they clean as country water. proverbial me high when I heard a couple new sounding tunes on the tubes and they blasted me sky high and the record man said everyone is a yellow sun record from Nashville and up north here ain't nobody buys them and I said but I will Friends play music and they ain't uptight if one of their kids will. 
I sure am glad I got the chance to say a word about the music and the mothers from Nashville. Yeah. flying by the seat of our pants today. Don't we always? Well, it seems that way, but we always have a plan. What is the plan? Gabe, Brooke, and Jessica requested Santa Claus is coming to town. So Ryan wrote an intro. We've taken it to the host, and I put the video in your VCR. So cue them, big guy. We're ready. He'll be directing <laughs> next. Cue the host. Lots of kids will say that Christmas is their favorite holiday. And why not? It's got snow, presents, and wonderful Christmas songs. And Santa Claus is Coming to Town is certainly one of the most wonderful Christmas songs of all. Billy, would you play it for us? My pleasure. Santa, watch out.
Yes, ready. The band's ready. All the microphones are set. Good. Roll the graphic in three, two, one, and take it. Thank you, the host. Dixieland Jazz is one of America's greatest contributions to the world's musical repertoire. We're thrilled to have Dwight Kennedy's New Orleans Dixie Kings here to play for us on Question Time with Lindsay Bartle. <laughs> So, what is Dixieland music? Dixieland music is a style of jazz, and it's kind of like soup, because it has sounds like ragtime music and march music in it. Cool. Where did Dixieland music come from? Dixieland music started down in New Orleans, in Louisiana. Wow. Can you guys tell us about your instrument? Sure. This is a banjo, and it's a member of the percussion and the string family, because it has strings. And it sounds like this. <laughs> And this is a trombone. It's a member of the brass family, and incidentally, it's the loudest instrument in a Dixieland band. It sounds like this. This is the snare drum. It's a member of the percussion family. It sounds like this. And also a member of the brass family is this thing. It's a cornet. It looks and sounds kind of like a trumpet, but it came a few years earlier, and it sounds like this. This is a tuba, and as you can see, this is the largest and the lowest member of the brass family. And it kind of has a sound like this. famous Dixieland song? Well, it's a traditional march song called When the Saints Go Marching In. Wow. Will you play it for us? If you'll sing it. I guess so. Let's do it, guys. Today it's been perfectly enchanting. Why, you're, you're welcome. welcome! Have you picked your song for your sing-along? Yep. Ruby and I had to think about it for a long time. What did you pick? Me and my shadow. Oh, good. It's my favorite, too. I need you in your studio, please, because we're ready if you are. I'm very ready. Let's go, Ruby. <laughs> Aaron, you're on. Now it's that time in the show when we head over to Billy and Ruby's dance studio for... Billy and Ruby's fun-filled sing and play along. Hi, kids. We picked a really special song to sing and play along with today. It's called Me and My Shadow. In our video, my friend Stephanie was the me <laughs> and Billy was the shadow. But today, all you guys can be the shadow, which means you should try and follow along with everything that I do. We with a jaunty walk down Main Street like this. I know you all can do that. It gets a little fancier later in the song when we do a soft shoe like this. So kids, join Billy and his shadow and just have fun. Me and my shadow. Surprise, here I am. Strolling down 
Okay. Uh, I can do that. Whoa, whoa, wait for me, wait for me! Uh, me. Hello. And my shadow. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Not a soul to tell our troubles oh. to. And when it's trouble from it's me again. We climb the stair. We never knock. For nobody's there. Uh -oh. Just me. And my shadow. Oh, All the such great dancers. We can put in one more video. Should we pick it from the mail or from one of us? Yes, sir? Of course, sir. We'd love to, sir. That was him, the big guy, the co-chairman of the company. What did he say? He loves show tunes. He wants us to play Give My Regards to Broadway. He's got it. Shira, let the host know. We're going to Give My Regards next. Can you make up something to say about it? Sure, sure thing. thing. You're on. What can we say about our next video? Except that it's a Broadway classic. Broadway is the home of musicals with big production numbers and lots of dancers in fancy costumes. Just like we have in our video version of Give My Regards to Broadway. Give my regards to Bye.